Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over on the channel each and every single day. And those three things include where you guys can find Madame Nazar's location. We're going to go over all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then we're also going to go over all of the daily challenges. So that hopefully you guys can make a little bit of money and a little bit of gold here in Red Dead Online. But anyway, before we actually get into the video itself, if you guys could go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below, it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And honestly, I am very much trying to grow the channel, so if you guys could really do those things for me, I would very, very, very much appreciate that. I don't know why those guys got so angry. They're the ones that ran into me. Schmucks. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we're going to start with everything that involves using uh, the uh, collection sets and their current cycles. I obviously go over this for a very specific reason first. There are ways of uh, getting this information way prior to when I actually release this information. So just keep that in mind because it does change like six hours before I go over it. So uh, I'm going to start with anything that uses the field shovel. We got the fossils, which will be a part of cycle number two. The loss of jewelry, which will be a part of cycle number two. The arrowheads at cycle number six. Family heirlooms at cycle number three. And the coins at cycle number two. Now, the next four sets I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So I do definitely recommend that you guys get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can, because ultimately it's going to be your best way of making money here in Red Dead Online. And if you want to make any type of money, then this is what you guys are going to want to do. Become a collector. So we got American Wildflowers. You can collect 10 of these sets every single day. Or not every single day, but 10 sets in total before you can't collect anymore. But American Wildflowers is the only exception you can actually collect three sets every single day it's the only one that you can do that with unless you get lucky enough to find random collectibles on multiple people throughout the day that would probably just take way too long but american wildflowers will be a part of cycle number four tarot cards at cycle number four antique alcohol bottles at cycle number five and then the bird eggs at cycle number four now basically you can stock up on these and then you can collect them and then when you become a collector you'll have some stockpile of items that you can actually go ahead and sell right away to the collector and madame Nazar. And you'll have a little bit of money going into it. So it gives you a little bit of a rhyme and reason to actually do some collecting before even having that collector bag if you don't already have it. I hope that makes sense because I know that there's been some questions that have been definitely been asked about that lately. Anyway, let's go ahead and pull up to the side of the road. We're going to go and talk a little bit about the daily challenges. We're going to quickly go over the list mode and then we're going to follow that up with extensive detail. We got a thousand distance traveled in a boat with a posse member, specifically a boat, it says. We got five dry goods eaten, one place top three in a race, one player headshot with a boat in showdown, five redfin pickerel caught, one uh, visited a shop in strawberry, and then one weapon customized. The bounty hunter roll, we got two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters, one bounty completed with without killing an enemy or a bounty target, and then we got three more than one bounty target brought in at once. The trader roll, we got 20 carcasses donated within a 10 minute period. Large animal carcasses donated, we got six of those to Crips. One resupply mission completed with five minutes left. The collector roll, we have to sell three collectibles to Madame Mazar, three collectibles looted from non player enemies, and then three collectibles found with a shovel. The moonshine roll crafted two toxic moonshine, $200 money made from moonshine sold, and then moonshine served to other players at a bar. You have to do that four times. What's up, dude? Have fun. We've got the naturalist roll. We've got five animal samples taken within 10 minutes. We've got three desert animal samples taken and then three forest river animal samples taken. All right, let's go ahead and break these down for you guys. So there was a couple that I saw with posse member. There was this one and I think it was the bounty hunter one. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to kind of talk about those first. We got a distance of a thousand by boat or way or by boat with a posse member. Obviously, you're going to have to be in a posse, either their posse or their posse. doesn't matter. Um, but if you guys want to specifically go after boats, you can find them around the islands here outside of Rhodes is a good spot. Or you can actually find them along the Kamasa River uh, from time to time as well. I usually find more canoes around there, but you can find boats. It might just take you a little bit longer. So there's kind of a two-part being a posse and then find one and then do the distance. Five dry, dry goods eaten. You can actually just pull up your wheel in order to do this. You go over here, find your dry goods. That's going to be... Your candies, your biscuits, the bread roll, the bread chunk, crackers, and chocolate bar should all count towards the dry goods. So whatever you want to go ahead and eat for that is completely fine um, in order to get that one completed. And then moving on to the next daily challenge, we got place top three in a race. And then one player headshot with a bow. So these two are PvP related, kind of. Um, 
Well, they are. Yeah, just one. You don't have to kill anybody in a race if you don't really want to, but you're still player versus player. So, uh, play a top three. If you're not very good at races and you can't get a top three, this one might not necessarily be for you. But the more times that you try it, you'll obviously get better at it, and you'll earn gold each time that you participate in a race. So it's a little bit of an incentive to do that. And the next one is to get a headshot with a bow. Um, I recommend using the dynamite arrows with this one, but that's just me. You can use whatever you want to get that. And then I would definitely make sure that you guys are using painted black for an ability card. Five red fin pickerel caught. You can find these guys literally at any water area. Uh, my go-to location is actually right outside of San Denis on the Kamasa River, right by Kalaga Hall, and also on the Dakota River area. And red fin pickerel do like bread bait the best. So um, the only problem with that is there are a lot of uh, other small fish that enjoy bread bait as well. So it might take a little bit of time just as a fair warning. Uh, we got one visited shop in Strawberry. Any shop will do. I like the butcher because you don't even have to get off the horse. And then one weapon customized. Now, if you guys have already customized your weapon, that is perfectly fine. Just change like the length of the barrel or whatever other item that you want to change on it that's considered a customization. And then change it right back and you'll get the award for customizing your weapon. And then you don't even pay any money to actually get a we custom weapon either. Moving on to the bounty hunter role. So we got uh, more than one bounty target brought in at once. This doesn't require you guys to do this with, or the easiest way is to do this with a friend in the same posse. Um, and preferably that has the same daily challenge that you have. And then I will go after the targets that are two in order to get this one completed. And then you guys basically take one of each of the bounty targets. Otherwise, if you want to do it individually, more than likely, you're going to have to kill one of the targets because you're going to have to subdue one of them while the other one is trying to get away. And then I would use either the back of the horse. You can actually put the live one on the back of the horse and drag the dead one behind you if you don't have the bounty wagon. Otherwise, if, the bounty, if you have the bounty wagon, then it can be a little bit easier because you can put both alive targets in there as well. And then they won't escape. Two bounties running from West Elizabeth posters. So Wallace Station, Strawberry... Blackwater, and then one bounty completed without killing an enemy or a bounty target. Uh, hog tie everybody, I guess, or just go right after the target. And if you can get lucky enough that you have to search for an enemy, you, there's usually no enemies besides the target themselves there. So that might make it a little bit easier. The trader roll, uh, 20 carcasses only within a 10 minute period. Tw uh, the carcasses will be like... The small animal carcasses are the easiest to donate, so bats, rats, toads, bullfrogs, western chipmunks, squirrels, and any other small birds and crows are great for that opportunity because the timer doesn't start until you donate the first one, and if you guys have stuff in like your hunting wagon, then it can take a little bit longer, or maybe you just haven't obtained all 20 items. Plus, it's just easier in my opinion. We got six large animal carcasses donated to Crips, so it has anything on the back of the horse, so you can do six of the large and then 14 of the small. That would be the best way to do that. And then we got one resupply mission completed with five minutes left. So basically do a resupply mission as fast as you possibly can. The collector roll, we got three collectibles found with a shovel. Uh, I went over those at the beginning, but the fossils, lost jewelry, uh, arrowheads, family, heirlooms, and coins. Coins are going to be the best because they're also always going to guarantee that you're going to use the shovel. And then three collectibles looted from non-player enemies. You can either do this legitimately and loot everybody to find collectibles, or you can actually kill any alligators in the bayou, the blue water marsh area. And you'll actually receive, you won't actually receive the collectible, but the game will actually give you credit for collecting a collectible from a non-player enemy. So, it's weird, but it works. And then we got three collectibles sold to Madame Mazar. If you guys saw it earlier, Madame Mazar is actually located in Blue Water Marsh today, making it pretty easy to get to her location. Fast travel destination of choice would either be at Lagra or at Van Horn. Either one would work just fine. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We got three, uh, we did all those. Moonshine, moonshine roll, we got two craft of toxic moonshine. This does require you guys to have a pamphlet in order to do it. I don't think it's worth it in my personal opinion, especially nowadays with how little the payout is on gold for the daily challenges because you're not really going to use the toxic moonshine anyway. $200 mini made from moonshine. As long as you're making a strong batch and then make sure that you don't break any of the bottles upon delivery of the moonshine, you'll make more than $200 for your moonshine sold. And then we got four moonshine served to other players at a bar. This is going to require a fan. You don't have to be in the same posse. They can actually serve you at your bar or you can serve them at your their bar. Either one would work just fine. And then last but not least, we got the naturalist roll. We got five animal samples taken within 10 minutes. I like to go after the farmland animals just because there's an overabundant amount of them at Emerald Station or in Valentine. Valentine's going to have sheep and pigs. Where it's Emerald Station, we'll have... Uh, goats, sheep, uh, cows, and ox, and things like that. 
And then last but not least, we got the three River uh, Forest Animal Samples taken. What is the easiest for you guys to obtain in this category? That's what you guys want to go ahead and focus on. But that is everything done, gone over, and covered. We went over Mad Mazar's location, which is in the Blue Water Marsh area. We had went over all the different collection sets and their current cycles, and obviously all of the daily challenges. But if you guys did find this information helpful or enjoyable in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.